Hi, welcome. One of the things I'm missing now in um, Arch Merge GNOME, we've just changed a lot of things already, uh, icons and all that and themes. One of the things I'm missing is, is this, this plank of mine up here. Um, but we do have something, we do have this thing. Um, question is only if this dash can stay there, but we are losing it every time we click somewhere. So is there a possibility? Yes. You go to AMD GNOME, you go to Personal, you go to Settings, you go to GNOME Extensions. There is a GNOME extension that does just that. Link to Dash to Dock. So if we double click on this one and wait for your browser to run, your default browser that you selected, can be uh, Vivaldi, can be Firefox, can be anything. And we get here a pop-up in one of the videos before. We got a pop-up. Uh, maybe we could do it again in another browser. This is this Vivaldi. And only thing I have to do now to install this is off to on. So press here. But let's see if we can change our default and see if we can find a quick link, by the way. Default application. So we start typing and we have indeed Vivaldi. Let's take Firefox this time. So double click should change our application there you have it so firefox is started and then we have to wait for this line here so this green no this purple purple line click here to install browser extension and hopefully that still works for you when you install it it depends probably on the extension on the fire the version of firefox but you get this black foot you can know i can hear and some browsers it reloads immediately and guess we don't have to wait and have to reload it ourselves and then we see that uh, these lines of purple line is gone hopefully right and then we just say and that's quite of course an ingenious system uh, we just click here it says put it on download and install install and that's that we have just installed an extension there you go this thing here is staying it's put it stays available at all time so that's what we installed if you want to check out what we installed you go to tweaks to extensions i've installed already this one which is going to provide our variety icon up here it did not change anything so it's clean install dash to dock that's the one we just installed and we can set some stuff here position on screen top left right so if you want to change that show on all monitors show the dock on intelligent auto hide you know the features of plank it's more or less the same animation you can change some things here okay dock size you can change the size of the dock and the icon size that's showing immediately okay fine and this one okay is showing now maybe i did not see it earlier on but anyway you can change these with the sliders some launchers show the favorite applications of course what else do we keep that then otherwise okay behavior what was the last one animate show applications so this one oh, animation not really but probably in virtual machine it shows a little bit different okay scroll actions behavior when scrolling on the icon of an application cycle through windows switch workspaces appearance built-in team it shows a little bit different uh, the background then eh? and this and even the size and uh, borders and margins between the icons, I mean. String to dash, so to check it out, a lot of things to change. Opacity is one of the things I tried. Uh, so custom opacity, uh, let's take another wallpaper that's not so dark. And let's take another one, that's better. So you see the opacity and we can change it. That's a little bit better, it's nice, it's beautiful. Four straight corners, the tattoo. Enable seven glossy backlit items. That was not nice. Customize the dash color. I changed that as well. You can have some fun with the dash. 
So let's take this one. Select. So whenever thing something is open, when you open something up, you see this uh, button which we don't see right now because of black. Or let's like red. Select. Obviously, we customize the dash color. That's done. But actually, I was thinking about something else. That's why I opened it. Um, so I was thinking about something completely different. There is this one. Show Windows counter indicators. Is that with color? Yep, that's this color. So that's what I was actually thinking. Now this thing is red. You see this little icon up here. So you can change those as well. So a lot of stuff you can change dash to dock. I can only recommend it and try it out. If you like it, you can keep it. So if you don't want it, it's back out and it's back hidden. So you can activate it again this way or in super key as well. So the Windows key is available as well. So I really want to have it so it stays in. All right, have fun.